Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at making and publishing changes using publications. We'll see how to preview and review those changes and the different ways we can publish those changes. Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, thank you for watching. Starting off, I've already created a publication and a site for this demo. I want to store the changes of the homepage of this site in the current publication that I've named Masterclass Homepage. When creating this site, I use the Masterclass site template, which is made available out of the box. If you need a number of examples or templates to use or for common use cases and solutions, these site templates are a great place to start. But at the Masterclass site, we'll go ahead and change a few of the images on the homepage. Let's select the edit or pencil icon near the top right of the page. For this image, we'll select it a few times and then I'll select this image here. Scroll down. And for this image, select it a few times. Then we'll change it to this one. And the last one here, let's change to this one. Now that we've made our changes, let's see how we can review and preview some of these changes. We'll use the publication menu at the top of the page, select it, and then select review changes. This allows us to review the changes in the current publication. You can also review any publications changes by navigating to the publication application and then selecting the actions button of the publication followed by review changes. Once inside the publication, we're able to see each of our changes. When we select a specific change, we're able to see the details of the change, things like its metadata, attributes, and so on. If changes are made to the pages of our site, we can preview those changes alongside the original version of the page that is live in production. Now that we've seen a number of the things we can do with these changes, let's publish these changes. There are two different ways we can publish changes, and I'll be showing both ways. The first is by publishing those changes now. It's as simple as clicking on the publish button at the top right. If there are any conflicts to resolve, this is where we can resolve them. In our case though, there aren't any conflicts. And from here, all we need to do is click publish, and all the changes from the publication will be applied. The second way we can publish your changes is by scheduling the publication. It's also easy to schedule a publication. All that needs to be done is click the schedule button. If there are any conflicts to resolve, we can resolve them and then select a date and a time, taking note of the time zone that is defaulted. And finally, select schedule to complete the scheduling process. And there you have it, making and publishing changes using publications in LifeRay DXP. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.